So this narrative, it's a world-beating NHS. It's the envy of the world. I've been hearing that from the Prime Minister and others. How do we break this? Because my experience in politics was if you even tried to dare That's suggest right. that maybe if there was an insurance element to this, yeah. we might get a better delivery. Still free of the point of use. No one's questioning Absolutely. free of the point of use. No, no, but in terms of Suddenly how you're privatising the NHS. Suddenly you want a stripped-down yeah. American system. Suddenly you're completely immoral. And you don't respect the and, nurses and And you doctors. don't respect the nurses. Yeah. So, so are we... And, and I found this impossible. You know, ten years ago, yeah. I was trying to make And now these it's arguments. even more impossible. It's rhetorical trench warfare whenever you try to have a rational debate about how we can make the NHS more efficient. And yet, this is an organisation with 1.2 billion million employees, you know, almost up there with the Chinese army and the Red Army. Mm, it's one of the mm. top biggest three or four organisational employees in the world, and yet we're not allowed to talk about how we make it more efficient, even if we say at the outset, repeatedly, at the beginning of every sentence, I want free at the point of use healthcare, how do we make it work? And this Civitas study really is alarming because it proves that funding of the NHS is completely respectable by international standards, yeah. clinical outcomes are really bad, and here's the kicker, up to 75,000 deaths each year happen in the UK from treatable diseases. And we are 18 out of 19 advanced countries, right at the bottom of the Devast league table. Devastating The figures. only country that performs worse is America. Devastating figures. We were the, of course, the NHS was the envy of the world. In the, in the mid-40s, when it was created, it was absolutely path-breaking. It was incredible. And you and I would agree there are tens of thousands of nurses and thousands of doctors who do a good job. Some yeah. of them don't do a good job. Yeah. They're human. But the majority do a good job, want to do the right thing. The question is, how do we organise ourselves so we're spending this huge slug of taxpayers' money in a way well, that is as efficient as possible? Well,